welcome back to the Chrissy B Show, everybody, your TV program for all things related to mental health, well-being and success. Well, today we are all about ADHD and more specifically ADHD in adults. So we've heard from the lovely Dr. Audrey Tang and Heather, and now I'm going to be speaking to Ryan Swain. Hello, Ryan. Hello, Chrissy. Thanks for having me on the show. It's lovely to have you on the program. Yeah, great. So tell us, when were you actually diagnosed with ADHD? Well, I was diagnosed when I was 22. Mm -hmm. um, but it's something that I've always known that I've had that sort of compelled me to be the way that I am. Uh, okay. sort of from, from being little, I've always been pretty relentless, very high energy, okay. um, sort of swinging from curtain to curtain like Tarzan, <laughs> as my parents describe it. Okay. Um, uh, but then there's the concentration element to it as well. I've, okay. I've not had the best concentration, but when yeah. I do find something that I enjoy doing and I'm good at doing, uh, it tends to... I become very passionate about it, very attached to it, okay. and it gets my 100% undivided attention. That's really good. I so mean, you can you over focus seem, You too. seem really positive about it, but was there any time maybe when you were a child or even as a young adult that it kind of got to you, it caused you any issues, maybe with, maybe with other people? Uh, I, I, I like to think that what, what my case is, is unique because mm. I see it as a blessing, really. Yeah. I see it as something very positive and something very something very passionate that I feel about mm -hmm. uh, mainly because it's, it's made me the person that I am I've accepted okay. it acceptance is a massive part of it mm -hmm. um, growing up school was very difficult I got told at school that I would never achieve anything sort of why I'm sorry why do teachers say that to people why does anyone say that to anyone? they're just like to but little people anybody that's horrible. sort of different and that's it's, not following their sort yeah. of syllabus or that they're, they're, they're not interested yeah. but I mean I mean I at school, I did find it very difficult to concentrate. I found yeah. I was always very outgoing, uh, very lively, very energetic, very relentless. Yeah. But then there's the other elements to it as well. So the impulsivity of it all. I mean, it's very, mm -hmm. it's a very impulsive thing. And yeah. you know, you fidgeting and and the concentration. You don't have the best concentration span. Yeah. But like Has I ever said, got you into trouble in any sense or? Talking too much. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, uh, I do yeah. talk quite a lot. I enjoy talking. I've got verbal Tourette's. Um, but that's just how I am. I mean, I, I, lo I, I love ADHD. I speak mm. very highly of it because I believe if you use it to your own potential, then you can overcome, yeah. and you overcome anything and you can achieve anything. Brilliant. And what are you doing to help other people? Because you're, you're in the entertainment industry. Aren't you? I'm in the entertainment industry, yeah. And I'm everyone's a... noticed who you look like. Go on, who do, go on, who do you think I look like? <laughs> of course, lovely Jim Carrey. <laughs> Jim Carrey. And believe it or not, he's actually got ADHD as well. Yeah, so there so you go. I might, I might give you a, a cheeky Jim Carrey impression before, oh, I, right, before I leave the show. <laughs> But, but going back to ADHD, I did, you know, as I got older, I got diagnosed mm. very late at 22. Um, and it's, it's different, it's adult ADHD, because I started to experience a darker side to it. Okay. Anxiety, not mm. depression as such, because I like to think that at least 360 days of the year, I'm on, the ultimate, I'm on cloud nine, the yeah, ultimate yeah. high. But then you get the five days a year where mm. you, you're at rock bottom lot. Okay. And you find it very difficult to pick yourself back up. Mm -hmm. um, but I've never, I've, I've tried medication, mm -hmm. um, I, the, but it, it didn't seem to work out. Okay. What about, you? do you ever try anything with nutrition and stuff? Or? I've tried, yeah, I've tried all, yeah. believe it or okay. not, it's quite controversial, but uh, I actually find caffeine helps me. Oh, yeah, believe it or not, okay. caffe caffeine, yeah, so, when yeah. I was taking the medication, it would give me stimulants and yeah. it's meant to have the diverse effect, uh -huh. but um, caffeine helps me. Because if yeah. I haven't had a coffee in the morning, like okay. most normal people, they find it difficult to sort of focus. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, caffeine definitely it gives me a bit of a focus. Okay, oh, that's on, interesting. On, on things. <laughs> it's an it's, 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 it can be perceived as controversial. Yeah, yeah. But uh, now back to the end, the helping other people. What is it yeah. that you actually do? Like? Well, I'm, I do a bit of stand-up comedy. I'm yeah. a presenter. I do. I like hosting events, warming up crowds. I uh, started my career at Flamingo Land Resort in North mm. Yorkshire, okay. which is a theme park. Yeah. Uh, I was very lucky. They gave me an opportunity as an entertainer. And oh, I that's took lovely. That. But now, currently, I've got baby twins, Ivy oh, and Isla. congratulations. Um, and I've sustained a relationship with somebody who, uh, it sounds cheesy, but I love more than anything in the world. And she's accepting me for who I am. She yeah, understands yeah. about ADHD. Mm -hmm. And people with ADHD can sometimes find little things in life like that difficult to sustain. Yeah, but I've managed yeah. to sustain it. And it, it just makes me the person that I am, really. Yeah. However, there's the side of it where it can be perceived as being hereditary. Mm -hmm. So there's always that kind of, it's not really a worry because I know how to overcome it. Yeah, and how yeah, to channel it and into doing things, constructive things. Yeah. And that's what I'm trying to inspire people to do. And that's mm -hmm. why I've come on the show, really. Because there's always, there's always, there's always ways. I always think that you, 
with having ADHD, it kind of makes your mind a factory for like creativity. Yeah, I'm a very creative yeah. and expressive kind of person. And that's the kind of, you know, that's the kind of element. Most people with ADHD are. Yeah. That is lovely. I mean, I some like people that. that have it might not be so open as you, but obviously if you're going to go for a job interview or even in your workplace, you've already started work and then you get a diagnosis afterwards, it's, there's nothing wrong with actually speaking up about it definitely it's not, not. and there's, you know, the, there's that stigma like... attached i mean i've always been very honest about yeah. having adhd um mm. when it comes to getting a job or going to an interview i'm not obviously you can be too honest and people can yeah, like said so there's a stigma attached and people yeah. are like well he's got adhd the automatically jumps conclusions is a yeah. trouble causer he's you, you know mm. and there is a lot of negative press a lot of bad press about it uh however i find it it's helped me become the person I am. Yeah. It's made me the entertainer that I am. Yeah. And it's gave me a lot of opportunities in life. So therefore, yeah. I'm, I'm quite thankful for Brilliant. it. Brilliant. So they, they see, like, right, but if someone's watching that has been diagnosed and they're feeling a little bit down in the dumps about it, what, what advice would you give to them? It's difficult. I, like, the way I overcome it is acceptance. So once you accept that you've got ADHD, then... Mm -hmm. There's all kinds of ways. Being honest with people, telling people, talking about it, ex expressing yourself, expressing them emotions, expressing them feelings. Not keeping it all inside. Just, yeah, That's don't, the worst don't, thing, don't, don't it, bottle it up because you, you'll just implode <laughs> and yeah. it's, it's never a good thing. Yeah. So I, I try and inspire people to, to talk about it freely yeah. and, and be honest about it. Yes. So. That's great. Ryan, thank you so much for no, you're sharing welcome. your story. No, it's lovely to have you on, on and we will get that impression from you, you at the end of the programme. Yeah, right? There you go. Deal? Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. a deal. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then. All right, guys, so don't go away because I wanted to share this video with you, courtesy of the Mental Health Channel, which shows how it's possible for a family to manage their mental health challenges, including ADHD, and most importantly, have a good time. Here's part one of Good Fun. This weekend is special because it's the last weekend the kids have before they start school again. We made it through summer. We're still alive. We're having fun. 